up and welcome, I am the one and only West Coast King and welcome back to the United States National Team Career Mode where we are getting set for the Confederations Cup. We're going to have to pick a team, but first, I will tell you the schedule now. I found out we are playing Germany first, and then two days of rest, and then the Ivory Coast, and then two more days of rest, and then New Zealand. So all three of the group play games are coming within a week. That's very, very difficult to do with a limited roster size, but we're going to give it our best shot. I'm, again, I'm very, very confident that we can beat Germany. Obviously, the only X factor now is I'm starting to notice that some of these teams are having some of the computer-generated like youth players and stuff. So if Germany brings any of those players with them, it's going to make it a little more difficult. But if they bring a normal team, I know their players, I know their strengths and weaknesses. So hopefully, that is what we see from them. If that is the case, again, I'm very, very confident that we match up well against them and we can pull out a result, hopefully a win. Ivory Coast is a different monster altogether. I'm not so worried about computer-generated players with them. I'm just worried about their normal starting 11. They're very, very fast, very, very strong, and technically sound. I mean, a team... Uh, pace in and of itself is difficult to combat. When you combine that with all of their other attributes, it just creates an absolute FIFA monster, and it's very difficult to play against. So that's the one team I'm not 100% convinced that we're going to beat. But hopefully we can do that. Two days of rest after playing Germany is not ideal, but it's what we've got. And then we play New Zealand. I'd be surprised if New Zealand even got a point out of this group. I mean, a, a single draw would be amazing for New Zealand. I mean, if I was the coach of New Zealand, that's what I'd be shooting for in this group. Um, but, you know, it's, it's not my problem at this point. Hopefully we get the three points against New Zealand. But, now let's go in and pick our team for this tournament. So here is the team I have selected for this tournament. There are very, very few players that I have picked for experience sake. When I go into a tournament, I want to pick the best players available, and I want to try to win. Rarely do I just pick players for give, just to give them experience, but I've done that with, I think, just one player, and it's goalkeeper Bill Hamid. Unfortunately, Hamid is not growing in this career mode, and by the way, neither is Matt Beasler. That's why he's not in there, uh, in the roster right now. He's still a 71, as is Bill Hamid, but... I do want to try to give Bill Hamid some experience. If we get to the New Zealand game and it looks like we're going to go through, I'll put Bill Hamid in there just to give him some experience in a big tournament setting. Otherwise, it's just going to be Tim Howard. Um, the defenders are going to be Brooks, Alvarado, Gonzalez, Chandler, Johnson, Yedlin, and I brought Chad Marshall, which may be a bit controversial, but honestly, the, the alternatives I'm not too big on. And we could bring Maurice Adu, but he hasn't played well for me in the past. Beasler, like I said, isn't growing, and I've already been over why I don't like him anyway. Uh, if he had grown, I would have considered bringing him, but he's just not getting any better. Um, Chris Schuler would have, been, would have been an alternative, but he's hurt. So it's down to Chad Marshall, a guy I trust. I've played with before. I know exactly where he's going to be, how he's going to play. I just trust Chad Marshall more than any other of the alternatives. The midfielders and wingers, or the right wingers, are going to be Bradley, Discarud, Julian Green, Dylan Powers, Dylan Serna, Cameron, Kitchen, Zalalem, Swanson, and Will Trapp just making the cut. I wasn't going to bring Will Trapp. However, uh, if you see on the right side over here, I'll just show you right here. Uh, Emerson Hyman is hurt. It says two weeks left on his injury, and the tournament isn't for another month and about a week. So about five or six weeks. But unfortunately, it won't let me select an injured player. So Emerson Hyman is not going to be making the trip with us. That's unfortunate. I really would have liked to have played with him. Instead, it's going to be Will Trap, a backup CDM, in his place. And the center forward slash left wingers are going to be Dempsey and Johansson, Zardes, and Zussi. All right, we are set for our first game of the Confederations Cup, and it's against one of the best teams in the tournament in Germany. And here's the lineup we're going to go with. It's going to be Zardes, Dempsey, and Cerna up top. Discarude, Kitchen, and Bradley in the midfield. Johnson, Alvarado, Brooks, and Yedlin across the back. Tim Howard in goal. I believe in this team. I think we match up very well, like I've said, against Germany. Hopefully we can get a result against them in this one. Here is another look at our starting 11. Oh my god, they just scrolled past the German players on the during the national anthems. I don't think I've ever been as nervous as I for a game as I am for this one. That was so intimidating. Like they're all huge, first of all, so size intimidation. Here's their starting eleven. Oh god, at least there's no new players that I don't know in there. I should okay. I, that's kind of what I expected. We're, we're ready for the, okay. I don't know who their left back is. That's the only one, Vandenberg. No idea who that is. But other than that, I kind of expected that. So here we go. 
Oh my god. Here we go, kick off. I'm not, like I'm I'm actually a little bit shaky. Like I've never been this nervous for a game of FIFA in my life. I mean we played Brazil in the group stage of the South America Cup. Yeah, that was a little nerve wracking, but it was the South America Cup. Oh god, I'm already hitting the wrong buttons. But this one, this is different. This is This is Germany. Like this is the real life reigning World Cup champion. God, if we could get a win here, that would be so awesome. Gedlin to Cerna. He's on sides. To the top of the box. No, it's Michael Bradley! That's one! Ten minutes into this thing, it's Michael Bradley from Dylan Cerna. If you didn't think Dylan Cerna deserved to start, you're crazy. He's an absolute monster on the right mid side, or the right wing. He's kind of the anti Zardes. He's more of a, a, a setup guy, as Zardes is his goal scorer. But my god, Cerna is effective. Bradley in the middle. Woo! That is a good start. They haven't even gotten the foul past midfield yet, really. And we've already got a goal on them. That was what I was talking about. I told you we matched up well against this team. I really do think we can get the win here. Cross to Brad Bradley. Bradley. Dempsey. Dempsey. Oh, what a ball. No way. Is it two? It is. It's two nothing. What? The only explanation I can think of is that Germany overlooked us coming into this tournament. Huge mistake on their part. We're actually dominating them so far. I mean, yeah, they had one shot, but... So far, we've had be definitely the better chances, and we've got two goals in 20 minutes. What the hell? Zarda's dropping all the way back into the... No, what? Why did it just... It just auto-switched me. You cannot be... Ki oh, God. Oh, Tim Howard. Get rid! Oh, he's leaning over the top. The ball out wide. Yedlin. Yedlin, take it around. Yes. Oh, great first touch from Yedlin. Still Yedlin. Ball in the box. Who's it going to be? Oh, it's nowhere. Zardes! Open goal! It's 3-0! Zardes just poached it on the back post! Oh my god! I have no words. I have no words. I can't believe what we're seeing right here. USA, 3-0 in a competitive match over Germany. And we're not even to halftime yet. We still have 15 minutes before halftime. What is happening? Oh god. Gotza! To Kadira, tackle the way, get rid of it, Brooks. Whoa, clutch defending in there. Good God, they're getting in the box with ease. Like I can't stop them from getting in there, but when they do get in there, we are doing a very good job of cutting it out. Oh God, there they go again. It's Kadira, hits the crossbar, and we just left it. Oh, for God's sakes, get him out quick. Where is he? There he is. Oh yes, play him through, and another. And it's Dempsey, that counterattack, Clint Dempsey, do it, near post, Clint Dempsey, it's 4 nothing. we just hit him, they have to push numbers forward, and we just nailed them on the counterattack, despite it taking me forever to throw that ball out, it took me a minute to collect myself after that shot, and then the rebound, but, they didn't get back, and it's 4 nothing. are we gonna get another one before halftime, surely not, Clint Dempsey, go ahead and have one son, Oh, it's blocked. <laughs> Lucky for Germany that it's blocked. And there's the whistle for halftime. Four nothing. And when I say we're killing them, I don't mean we're dominating this game. If you see the stats, we're not dominating. But our shots are just better than theirs. They're they're more open, they're clearer opportunities, and we're making the most of them. They're getting shots, they're just not quite as good as ours. Still at halftime now, we're actually gonna make a change. We're up 4 nothing. I don't think we need to score any more goals, and I really want to stop them from scoring. So we're going to go a little bit more defensive. We're going to pull the wingers back, go to two uh, holding midfielders, and hopefully cut out more of their chances. Because like I said, they're getting opportunities. They're just not converting them right now. If they start converting them, we could be in trouble. So no subs, just a formation change for now. Oh my god! No Marco Royce, though! And Kiesling brings it down, and there's one. Well, that formation change didn't stop a damn thing. They score less than five minutes into the second half. Yo, I, that was just that was just Marco Royce. I, I can't stop Marco Royce. All right, right after that goal, I'm making a change. We're bringing Omar Gonzalez in. I realize now Alvarado wasn't the right center back to play in this game. He is the highest rated center back now uh, for the United States, but it's not a good matchup for him in this one. He's a little bit small. Um, I, I don't like him against the big Germans in there. So I am going to take... Whoops, I didn't mean to chip that, unfortunately. Dang it. So I did take Alvarado out, essentially. Another sub now. 
20 minutes left in the game. We're bringing Timmy Chandler on for Dempsey. Zardis is going to move up and play striker. A little more pace to try to get out on a counterattack. Uh, Chandler's going to play left back. And Fabian Johnson is going to move up to left mid. Play it one more to Zardes. There we go. There we go. Right, play it back. Play it back. Play it back. Play it back. Oh my god. They just closed you. They, so, they closed so quickly. Oh, we got it back again. No. Yo, Bradley just got wrecked. Who's that back there? It's Brooks. Oh, Brooks isn't going to be able to catch Royce. Just get back in there. Someone get back for the cross. There's no cross. It's two. I just... I don't know what to do. They've dominated us in the second half. Absolutely crushed us. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Not another. Not another one, please. Fuck, he's three. Holy shit. There's five minutes left. We have five minutes. We just have to hold on. Now I might play like a bitch and just hold it in the back. I don't have a choice at this point. We need these three points. I don't care what it looks like or what it takes. We have to win this game. It looks like Germany's kind of accepted their fate. And we... Oh my god. We hold on for a 4-3 victory over Germany. That was not the way I wanted that second half to go. Maybe I shouldn't have played with the formation. Maybe I should have just stuck with it. But I assumed they were going to just throw everything they had at us. And they did. Oh my god. But we got the three points. We got the three points. Player ratings for the game against Germany. It gave man of the match to Clint Dempsey. Hard to argue with that. He did get a goal and assist. I'm actually going to give my man of the match to Michael Bradley. Also had a goal and an assist. Played the full 90, made some really key plays late in that game, uh, taking away a couple of opportunities, so I'm going to give my man of the match to Michael Bradley, though the whole team in that second half was an absolute disaster, but it's Germany. I mean, what can you really expect? All right, so for the second game, it's going to be against Ivory Coast. We made just a couple of changes. Here's the lineup we're going to go with. It's going to be Zardes, Dempsey, and Cerna again up top. Uh, in the midfield, it's going to be Zalalem coming in for Discarude, Cameron for Kitchen. Those are mostly fitness-related uh, changes. Bradley is going to stay in there. Across the back, no changes. Johnson, Alvarado, Brooks, Yedlin, Tim Howard in goal. Here is the starting 11 for the Ivory Coast for this game. And yeah, they're, they're very fast. Dravinia, Dumbia, Akpa Akpro, Sissoko Toure. Yep, yeah, yeah, they're quick. They're quick, but their defense, not that good. Here we go against Ivory Coast. Again, this is the one I'm nervous about because, yeah, they've got a lot of pace on that team. Hopefully, we can do what we can to stop that. Whoa! There's no one back! There is nobody... Oh, my God. They're, they're defenders. How are they that fast? Come on, Dempsey. Dempsey. Lay that off. Bradley, one more. To Zardes. Zar okay, he kept possession. That's good. In there to Bradley. Fire it. That was such a weak shot. That was my fault. I accidentally tapped the shoot button. But a good start. A good start. Oh, I got done in. No! Yes, Tim Howard. Oh, that's been the best chance for either team right there. That might have actually been the first shot from either team. And it was a really good opportunity, but Tim Howard was there. There's the whistle for halftime. A very even first half. They had the one good opportunity. I don't remember us having any shots, though we might have. Uh, but we had a couple of, we got the ball forward a couple of times, so it's promising. Um, hopefully we can do a little bit better in the second half. Alright, start of the second half, no changes. I thought about making a couple, but we're just going to stay with what we got for now. Come on, Zardes, we just need to get Zar. oh shit, that guy came out of real fast. We just need to get the ball to Zardes more. Come on, Michael Bradley, play it back to Zardes. Alright, Zardes, come on, do your thing. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, look at the space for him. He got a score, Zardes! Oh! So close. I told you we gotta get the ball to Zardes. He seems to be keen for a goal in this game. I'm just gonna keep giving him the ball. Alright, substitutions now with 30 minutes left. Zussi is gonna come on for Cerna, and we're also gonna bring on Johansson for uh, Dempsey. Play it off? Yes, back out wide. Nice. Up. What a great play right there. Come on, Zardes. Turn it inside. Yes, Zardes. Please. What the hell, Zardes? He's opening himself up so much. I, honestly, I, I'm not even looking for a pass. Maybe that's the problem. There really wasn't. I had Mega Bradley coming in. But damn, I can't put a shot on target with Zardes for my life. What? 
How did everyone just... What? Oh, God. Please don't. Not now. Not now. Yedlin, please. Go get Dravino. Yes, Yedlin. Good play. And kept it in. Beautiful job, Mr. Yedlin. There. Cameron. Bradley. Fire. No. It's a rebound. No. It's got it. It's Johansson. I can't get the shot off. Damn, that was our best, definitely one of the best opportunities we've had. Good patient build-up play. Couldn't I can't get the shot off, for God's sakes. Johansson, back, yes. Cameron? Jeff Cameron? Jeff Cameron, hello? Jeff Cameron? Hello, Jeff Cameron? Oh, I can't get a shot off, sorry. Our last sub, we have to take Michael Bradley off. He's just too tired to continue. Ben Swanson is going to come on for him. No, no late goal. Zussi, where are you? Yedlin, please close that down. Please close... Oh, I overran it. Oh, good block. Good block right there. Oh, God. Please play defense in here. No late goals. Yes, Alvarado. To oh, jeez. Get rid. Get rid of it. I can't get rid of the ball. I've tried so many times to clear and the shot goes over. Oh, my God. I thought for sure they were going to score there. Final whistle goes. A nil-nil draw against Ivory Coast. I told you we just... Speed is just the ultimate killer in this game. They had more of it than we did, and we couldn't score a goal against them. Mostly speed on defense is what kills us. We just can't get any separation, and that's how it was in this one. Could not get a goal, but luckily we held them to nothing as well. Player ratings for that one, they give man of the match to Tim Howard, and in a goalless draw, you kind of have to give it to your keeper. I agree, Tim Howard is man of the match in that one, though Zardes was very, very good as well. So after two games in the group, Germany's in dead last. They lost to New Zealand, who we play next. All we need is a draw. All we have to do is draw with New Zealand, and we are through to the semifinals. I think we can handle that. We are going to put out a lot of our reserves in that game, but I still think our reserves are better than New Zealand. I'm assuming that's what Germany did, is put their reserves out there, and it cost them. I'm not underestimating New Zealand. I never was going to, but I still believe we should get a winning in, in that one. And here is the lineup we are going to take into the game against New Zealand. Like I said, we're rotating the, the lineup a lot. It's going to be Zussi, Dempsey, and Green up top. Discarude, Kitchen, and Swanson in the middle. Chandler, Alvarado, Gonzalez, and Yedlin across the back. We are going to go with Bill Hamid still in goal in this one. I believe in him. He's good enough to get us a draw. However... The game against New Zealand will be next episode. We're going to cut this one off right here just because it looks like we are going to get through to the semifinal. I'll save this game and then the semifinal for next episode. Uh, so hopefully as much fun as I did. If you did, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you when we come back for the game against New Zealand. See ya.